Creating Spider-Man 3 is a pretty amazing experience. You take all of the previous games and the great response from those and what you want to do is give Spider-Man fans and Spider-Man players the best Spider-Man experience that they can possibly get. Our city as a whole in Spider-Man 3 is much more elaborate than it's ever been before. There's a city full of cars, and there's sidewalks full of people. There's subways going through it. You can hitch a ride on the subway if you're feeling lazy, and it feels very much like being there. We bring that all the way up to the sky tops. Next Gen gives us that power, the power to make a real, full, big, living city. The biggest improvement as far as the next-gen technology is just the number of polygons that we are able to push. Just to give you an example, the Spider-Man model in Spider-Man 2 was 4,500 to 5,000 polygons. And for the next generation, we're running 55,000 polygons. Of course, he's the main character, so he's very important, and we're willing to spend that sort of polygons on him. But it's, you know, just the very fact that we can draw this kind of a character is unlike anything that we've been able to do before. I'm trying to make the two characters, Red Suit and Black Suit, feel really different. We really took the core of Red Suit, and we said, well, what can we do to make this character more impactful? Because, in fact, it's not a different character. It's the same character, but more powerful and stronger and faster. And I think that's a really cool moment for Spider-Man fans. He'll knock guys down streets, and he'll you know, take out 10 guys around him in a single hit. Of course, we have all of the villains from the movie. We have Sandman, Venom, Goblin. But we also have a wide array of other characters as well that you know from the comics. We have 10 storylines in all, and one of which is the movie. So you actually have quite a wide variety outside of the movie storyline. We approached the design allowing people to decide what their experience was going to be with the game. So if you love the combat, you're going to be focusing on fighting crimes in the city. If what you love about the game is seeing what you can do with this guy who's got all this mobility and freedom of movement, you're going to spend a lot of time swinging around and exploring the city. So we've got multiple games in here, and I think what everybody loves best is going to depend upon what they wanted to do, and they've got the freedom to pick that.